Hi, I'm Master Cho. Today I'm going to show you the open box of IdeaPad S340 14 API. This laptop is powered with second generation Ryzen mobile CPU, which is called Picasso APU. With more advanced Picasso APU, this laptop will be the most affordable yet popular laptop in 2019. A little disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by Lenovo or its Korean retailer for this video. I bought it myself for my personal use, and no one asked me to do this review. This video is, is just my opinion, and if you have yours, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. So, no more further ado, let's talk about the laptop now. Uh, side label says IdeaPad S340 14 API, and the color is Obvious Blue. What a fancy name. The seal is broken here, but this is a brand new product, and I bought this one on G Market, a Korean Amazon like web store. Korean retailer offers free SSD upgrade for all pre order customers, so that's why the seal is broken. Okay, let's open it. Okay, in the box, there's a power brick here, and a bunch of manuals and warranty card. Okay, let's check the power first. Quite a standard one. This is fixed. <coughs> Okay, so this is the laptop here. It says obvious blue, but it's more like very dark metallic blue. Lenovo logo here, see? On this side is a SD card slot here and two USB 3 ports. And this one, this one, I think this one can charge your mobile phone, even if it's powered off. And on the other side, there's a power plug goes here, and full-size HDMI plug. And here is a USB-C. And here's your headphone jack. Okay, let's open the laptop. It's like a protective cover here. Here is a security latch to cover the webcam. See? You cover your laptop webcam. I think it's a good function if you really care about security. Okay, let's so let's turn it on. This is a free DOS version, so I think no bootable device or system is preloaded here. I think the build quality is very nice. Usually, if you if you buying a about four hundred dollar ish laptop, the build quality is very bad. But this one is very rigid and solid. Very nice. Um, okay, let's open the back cover to check inside. See, here is a SS, standard, SS, standard SSD here, and here's MBME slot.
for memory upgrade. I think I think you have to open here. Hmm. First unplug this power coming from the battery. And this is the memory shield. In order to upgrade the memory, I have to remove this shield first. Open the metal clip here and also here. Let's see if it goes out. No. This one too. Also this one. Okay. Okay. This is an empty slot here which means the memory is on board. Let's just leave it closed now because I didn't buy, my, buy a new memory yet. So let's put it back here. And for SSD, I have a replacement here. I'll replace this one. I think we have to remove three Phillips screw here. One. Gently wiggle. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is very low grade SSD. I want to use it, so let's take it out. Four screws around the SSD need to be removed. Oops. One screw is missing. Oh, great. Okay. I will replace it with uh, Transcend 500 SSD here. Okay, replacement. This way, okay. Okay, I will upgrade the memory later, so today I will just put this back cover back on. Place it gently to... Oh! I almost forgot it. I almost forgot to plug in the power cable.
Okay. Let's put it back to back cover. Gently pushes down. I bought I bought a eight gigabyte memory module for upgrade, and let's start upgrading the memory. Okay, I think it's done. In this laptop, only one memory slot is left for upgrade. So technically, you can you can put any memory module in here. But according to the specs, according to the official spec of Lenovo, it says maximum eight gigabyte module can be used for this device. But some people say 16 gigabyte module is also fine. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's see if let's see if it works. Let's check if the system recognizes upgraded RAM. See? Twelve gigabytes. So now it's working. That is all for my hands-on review of Lenovo IdeaPad S340-14API. Overall, this laptop has great display and build quality for its price tag. Especially the keyboard is absolutely amazing. This laptop is not on sale in many regions, including US, but I expect it will be around 450 to 500 US dollars when you launch it. I definitely recommend you to consider this one if you are looking for an affordable laptop for your everyday use. Thanks for watching and please leave a comment below if you enjoyed. See you next time.